Well, yeah, but... It's like that. Oh, yeah, it swapped the cucumbers. Weird. I had to hit all that. Anyway. Okay, so this is going to be game five between IBM and Dotblock. This is the ace match because the series is tied up at 2-2, so we have a repeat of the same matchup that we had in game three right here. So in the upper right, spawning is the blue Protoss for Team IBM. We have Akira. And in the lower left, spawning is the red Protoss for Team Dotblock.com. Is, I think his name is Hollow Point. He's playing under the ID, Dirk Diggler. So the map is Howling Peak. This is a two-position spawn map, so the players know that they are across from each other. Uh, so let's see, in the third game when these players met, we had Akira went for basically Sky Toss. He got a lot of Void Rays, and Dirk Diggler went for this big Immortal build. So they both macroed up quite a bit, and then there was one big fight where it turns out Void Rays destroy Immortals. And, uh, I kind of ended quickly. So... Uh, <laughs> so we've got, uh, Dirk Diggler sent his probe up here, and it might look like he's trying to proxy here, and in fact he is. So did Akira see this at all? I don't think he has. So there's sneaky sneaky probe there. There is a gateway in, uh, Hollow Point's main though, so it's not like he's going to a proxy two gate in. Akira's main. Yeah, this is weird though. Like, he's being really, really sneaky with this probe. Yeah. I wonder if he's just going to put a pylon down and... He very well might. And just hope it doesn't get spotted until later. So Akira is going to scout here. We're going to see the one gas in the gateway. So this all looks very standard. Yes, one idle probe up here as well. Oh, and a gas deal from Akira. So this is one thing that I saw on a stream the other day, which makes me pretty much an expert about it, is uh, I guess gas deal is actually becoming <laughs> really common in Heart of the Swarm PvP because it severely limits the builds that you can do. And we actually saw this in the IBM A team last week. So uh, A train was trying to do the Dark Templar opening, and with a gas deal, you really can't. So it screwed him up. He tried to do it anyway. It was almost a full minute late. And it ended up not working at all. So that's really a big deal in Heart of the Swarm since there's so many different tech paths you can choose. Yeah. So you can see Akira's got both of his gas happily mining here. And yeah, I mean, he's got one probe that's kind of beating away on it, but that's going to take quite a while for that to get down. There's a zealot's out, and he's not actually even sending the zealot to chop down the assimilator. Still got this sneaky probe in Akira's base. He hadn't even tried to drop a pylon or anything like that, though, so who knows that one's about. I wonder if Akira's going to drop a Stargate here pretty shortly. He's got a lot of gas floating. Yes, he does. Oh, he found it. Oh, very nice. Uh, let's see, there's a Zealot coming here. Just going to take a chop at that probe. And we have a Twilight Council coming down for Akira. So this is probably either going to be like a Dark Templar expand, or, um, I don't know, I don't think Blink is very popular in PvP. Wait, that's uh, not true. Blink is no. really popular, isn't it? Blink, Blink is good in PvP. Yeah, I'm a PvP pro. The O-U-Z players you. <laughs> Still hasn't shot down that assimilator. So he's going up to three gates here. So is there going to be a Dark Shrine coming up? Yep, there's the Dark Shrine coming up. Yep, alright, so Akira is doing the Dark Templar. Uh, I guess it's called the Dark Templar Expand because I think typically you build three or four and try and do some damage and then expand behind it. Um, there is no detection here. Okay, a Robo has just started, but there's no Mothership Core. No, wait, Mothership Core doesn't do detection anymore. It's the Oracle, That's though. Yeah. They changed that in the last patch. So he has no forge, so he can't get cannons, he has no stargate, so he can't get an oracle, but he is getting a robo, so he will have an observer up um, pretty close to end time. So Dave's going to need a proxy power. Yep. Dave's setting up a proxy in the back of his third here. So we got three gate robo into an expand versus dark templar pressure and a robo. 
Interesting. So I wonder if maybe Dave's not thinking of an expand, but just going to get really aggressive off one base here. See, he's still building probes, but he's only at 24. Well, if he pushes relatively soon, he's still going to have uh, plenty of time to do damage. Well, well the observer's well, out. The observer's going to be up yeah. now. So, the observer it just goes up. flat across the map. No, this is not going to work at all. He's walking right under the observer. Yeah. Uh oh, move away, move away, move away. <sighs> and this is smart. He's running away from the pylon, so that's something at least. But yeah, that was pretty much hard countered. So now Hollow Point's got his expansion down. Uh, yep, he's finding the pylon right now. Yeah, smart play by him. He knows it's got to be around there. So let's see, Dave is going to try to expand on the back of this. But he got literally no damage done. I don't think he even did damage to that stock. Well, two Archons. Oh, yeah, I guess that's a reasonable follow-up. Back to play the Archons. So let's see what the card count here. So 27 or 26, or 27 tied now. But uh, Dave's second base is much, much later. There's been no probe transfer here by Hollow Point, though. He's still he's probably somewhat oversaturated as he's made now. He finally took his second gas. <laughs> <laughs> and he does have proxy pylon by Akira's fourth, I think it is. Or back behind the rocks up there. Yep. He's heading in with a zealot, so let's see, what does he see? Dave really hasn't seen much of anything. And yeah, this zealot is going to be the first scout that he's had so far. Let's see if he does. Yep, he sees the archons. <coughs> Probe supply is going to start to favor Hollow Point now because he's kind of boosting probes out of two nexuses. But he is oversaturated at his main, so it's not going to help him as much as it should. It's actually not that bad. It's not yeah. that oversaturated, but... Yeah, he's actually, and he's got both nexuses as rally to his natural now. Yeah, he could maybe stay in the transfer one or two, but actually that's so bad. And the robotics bay is coming down, so we're going to see that typical late game Colossus ball. Which I think Colossus got to be really good against Archons, just because of the range difference. Range 9 versus 3. So let's see, Dave's getting a Warp Prism, which uh, maybe combined with Dark Templar he'll be able to get something done. He does have an Observer right over the base, so he's going to see this Colossus tech, and he responds with a Stargate. So again, he's going to go for that Sky Toss. The difference is, is it's much, much later this time. He already had a few Void Rays out last time, and I think he had the macro advantage, whereas he's playing from a little bit behind here. Yeah, Dave is down by 12 probes right now. You know, it's like he's going to, uh, Hollow Point's going to take a third right now. Yeah, let's get ready. So Dave's going to run out of his Warp Prism. Uh, he might fly right over this third. We'll see if no, Hollow he's Point not. sees it. Nah, he's a little off. Alright, so Hollow Point does not see this Warp Prism coming in. <coughs> we just, wait, he has two Robos up. He just started making two Colossus. Oh wow, uh, double Colossus. So here's the weapon. It is going to be a single Dark Templar, which he spots it immediately if the Observer is in position. And he might lose this warp prism. Yep, uh, it's probably dead. Looks bad. Oh, he dead. turns around. <laughs> yeah, that's not the way to go, so he definitely loses it. Pylon is down at the third, and here comes the third Nexus, spending very well from Hollow Point here. Not quite so good from Dave. Another Fleet Bacon. And Void Rays. Yep, Void Rays. Curious about this Fleet Beacon. Maybe, oh, maybe he's going to try and respond with Tempest against the Colossus? They would do very well against Colossus since uh, they're, you can shoot them at them as air so they get their full bonus damage. Right. Assuming they didn't get rid of that. But and then they'll they actually outrage them. Too. Much in the way of an army though. Yeah, I think this push might just straight up kill Dave. He's only got the two Archons really as, as the meat of this. 
versus two Colossus and a ton of stackers. Yeah, army supply. No, oh, it's only seven difference. Yeah, force field isn't gonna block any rage. He does have two void rays that popped and he's trying to kind of boost out two more here. He can drop a turn warp, but this really should go. He needs to pull these probes immediately. Oh, these Colossus are just gonna destroy these probes. Oh. Gotta go snipe this third uh, Colossus that's behind the rest of the army. Yeah, Dave just lost 26 probes at that natural. I think he was, yeah, he's hoping he can crush it with those void rays. He was waiting for the other two to pop. But I mean, even if he breaks this army now, he just lost half of his economy. So he almost has to kill this army now, which... I... Well, he has to kill it, and he has to kill it very decisively. He can't just kind he's, of win. He's got to get it. Well, maybe not. There's only a couple of weapons no. of stalkers here. Is Dave warping in anything? He warped in three stalkers, but they're just sitting back there. Oh, no, he's about to lose his third. Oh, no. Oh, wow. He didn't cancel that. Oh, no. I didn't even see those zealots. Okay, so this looks bad for Dave. See, so it's now 47 to 24 workers. The army for Dave is three stalkers and two void rays versus five stalkers and two colossus, three zealots. I think if he'd killed all the colossus, he would have been in a not absolutely atrocious space, but he didn't kill the colossus. And he didn't kill any of the proxy pylons, so free reinforcements. One small mistake from Hollow Point, he's accidentally rallied all of his probes to just a spot on the ground here. <laughs> So he's building a ton of probes, but they're not actually doing anything. <laughs> he should be rallying into the third. But I mean, I don't yeah. think it matters. This army is just too big. Yeah. He's got a dark templar on the map here. That looks like he's going to try and send it across to do something sneaky. This natural is going to have to be canceled. Again. Cancel. Good. Get the cancel. Release those probes. Is Dark Templar going to get in? It looks like he'll get in here. And uh, there's only one observer on the map, and it's, it's way across uh, the map. Yep. So there's a heavy stalker warp in here, but they can't see that. He should probably just focus down the probes. No. Big battle here happening at the ramp, and this looks bad for Dave. All he's got here is these four void rays. Got a couple of stalkers on the like them. pushed it back. Interesting, yeah, there's only four stalkers there, but there should be yeah, another wave of stalkers coming in. You might turn around and fight. Oh, this is a nice pickup from Dave. Three kills. Yeah, the supply is still just he, he's doubling the supply. Yeah. Yeah, here comes another wave of reinforcing stalkers. We'll turn around and maybe take this fight. Or not. Pulsar beam. Oh, we'll just go to Colossus die. I mean, whatever. <laughs> well, but here's three Colossus, so... Yeah, yeah I think he's going to be okay. So Dave does charge up the Void Rays there, but that's just too many stalkers now. And GG. So Dot Black will take the match. Three to